hey guys so this is the second part of the video and as you know I am recording a short course about finding expired domains and using them so uh, just like I said in my introduction video I, I said why should you I said the first thing that I'll be discussing is why should you listen to me and the answer to that this is because I have done some 25 plus uh experiments i would say around expired domains and i'm not saying i know it all but i have gained some good number of skills and knowledge that i believe will help you save some hours uh, and in most of the cases if i say if i have to conclude all of my expired domains experiment here at her lemon i would say we were successful uh, in most of the cases but in some cases we were unlucky and we failed as well but we were lucky enough to learn something from every expired domain campaign we have run here at parliament for example if i have to conclude uh, all of my learnings in a nutshell is uh, only buy niche relevant domains not only sorry buy try to buy niche relevant domains sometimes if a domain expired domain is general it still works and the second learning from my uh, experiments is like if used properly then expired domains are best when they are like three one redirected to fresh domains like if you have bought a, a fresh domain and you want some quick boost you buy initial element expired domains and three one redirected to the fresh domain that you have just bought so this was uh, my learning in a nutshell but i will show you how to do it and what are the pros and cons and plus uh, like uh, how not to do it as well yeah so let's see you in the third part of the video